All right, now if you're much of a carver, you know that brands do matter, right? The companies that create the products that we're using use specific materials from specific sources and they're consistent for the most part with those materials and practices of manufacturing. All those things factor into my decision making when I talk about the quality of brands, the best brands. So today, we're gonna to be talking about the best brands for wood carving, and I'm gonna break it down into a couple of categories. The first, knives. Knives are a huge part of the American repertoire of wood carving tools, and I wanted to break them down by top manufacturers that I use on a regular basis. And this also includes the smaller Ma and Pa stores and manufacturers as well, because those people deserve attention. This video will amplify some of them as well. And then, Gouges. Gouges include all categories of skew, chisel, and then of course gouge, vayner, all those things, V-tools. These are the tools I use most often to create the relief uh, portrait carvings that I do. And I'm gonna talk about the three brands that I use most frequently, not including ones that aren't manufactured anymore because that's not fair to you guys. All right, now starting out, let's talk about knives. The first company I wanted to mention is one of the most accessible companies, and it's one that I use very often. I'm looking for it as I talk to you because for some reason, I didn't think to pile it on my giant pile of tools. And in fact, it might not even be here, but we'll use a stand-in as an example just to show you the uh, branding that would be on this tool. It's FlexCut. <laughs> Where is that sucker? Uh, okay, here's a FlexCut handle. You can't really see the branding on it, but FlexCut is a, no, oh, here it is, Derp. It was in my pile. This is a great knife maker. This is a knife maker that um, is affordable. So this is a fairly budget friendly knife. Of all of these knives, it's uh, the second cheapest. And I recommend it for that reason, and that's why I start out with it. Uh, FlexCut is a knife maker that, uh, this is a skewed detail knife, by the way, if you're trying to look for that. I'll link it in the description below. But it's a great uh, company. Handles are fairly comfortable. Eh. Not my favorite, but the quality of the steel is good and it's a great place to start if you're looking to get a decent carving tool. In the same vein of cheaper wood carving tools, in fact, if you can't afford the flex cut, the, the very bottom of the barrel as far as the low end kind of budget friendly knives that I would recommend are Beavercraft. And the problem with Beavercraft is many of the grind angles on the tools are not optimum for sliding through the wood. In fact, they're a little bit thick for most people. So I don't say that you should use this if you can afford something better, but if you can't, everything, by the way, this will be linked below as well. Do check this out. And this one I've modified and I've done a video on the modification of it. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little rusty right now because I apparently got it wet. The next maker is a smaller maker and it's one that I absolutely love. I use it all the time and it's Deep Holler. This is a cedar handle tool that they've made. It's an amazing tool. I love the shape of the tool, the blade specifically, and the handle. Nice beefy handle. Absolutely recommend them. Deep Holler uses high quality steel. It's hardened to a Rockwell hardness of, I believe somewhere in the low 60s, at least in the high 50s, low 60s, right in that sweet spot that you're looking for. It holds the, uh, an edge well, uh, but it's also fairly durable. It's not too hard where it's brittle. Another company that I absolutely love that's uh, new and just coming out and female owned, if you care about that, then uh, check this company out, Badger State Blades. And this is a really, really comfortable blade. I mean, beautiful blade. Look at that figured maple. And uh, really great steel. Every bit as good as the others that we're talking about here. Um, in fact, it could be even better. It's a really great and fairly budget friendly knife. And uh, very appreciative to them for sending that and making that knife. Another that I appreciate a lot, and they've been huge in the world of wood carving for years, and so most of you know about them, is Helvi. Helvi makes an incredibly high quality knife with arguably the most beautiful handles of any of these makers. It's uh, a lot of attention, the detail goes into these. It's a fantastic knife, and this is again kind of a skewed detail version that they did for me a while back. I'm a big fan of Helvi. I have multiple of their knives. I use them fairly regularly. Now this is a harder steel, which means it's a little bit harder to sharpen, but it's absolutely worth the effort and energy. This is a higher end, more uh, professional level tool though. So not everyone has to have a Helvi. And what, from what I hear, it takes a while to get one. So keep that in mind. 
The next, as far as gouges go, right? We're getting into the category of gouges. These are full handle tools. These are tools that require two hands on deck at all time, right? This is a uh, Henry Taylor. Henry Taylor is a company, of course, uh, I shouldn't say of course, maybe you don't know this. It's made in England and they're very well made. Uh, they're handmade and they're forged properly to a, a nice hardness. Um, and I believe again in the, in the low 60s, uh, if you're not familiar with the Rockwell scale, look that up. And that's what I'm referring to. And it's a fantastic blade. It holds an edge well. Their consistency of quality is pretty good. They're a smaller company, definitely worth investing in. I have no problems with them. It's a shorter, octa not octagonal handle, is it? Yeah, octagonal handle, which is great because that means it won't roll off of a desk as easily as a round one will. And uh, they're, they make great sizes and shapes. And this is a fishtail, which is nice because it kind of widens out as it gets to the end. It can get in those hard to reach areas. The next is a personal favorite. I'm biased because I have a, a partnership with them, so I'll make that known. Although I don't really sell them anymore. I used to sell them. Um, probably the last tool set I sold was sometime last year. They're a really great uh, tool maker. Uh, as far as the steel quality goes, it's very high. Uh, it's Stubai. And so Stubai is a company that's been in existence for over 100 years doing drop forged uh, knives and gouges and all that. And they're Austrian made, uh, they're quality. You know, the one thing I will say about uh, Stubai is they sometimes have uh, difficulties with um, quality. Uh, you know, the insertion of the tang into the handle sometimes is a little bit loose fitting. Uh, I don't know if they've totally resolved that, but uh, they, they definitely are a high-end product. I use their stuff every day as a professional, so I have no problems with it. And any sort of problem that you run into with their handles, you can easily resolve uh, with a little epoxy or just with a little turn of the hand. So Stubai is a, an excellent brand because they're actually fairly affordable compared to the highest end brand, which is the one I'm about to mention. That's the Swiss made. Swiss made is um, also known as file. Uh, I believe it's PF. Is it I E L? I'm not sure, but, or if it's E I L, um, uh, I'm not the best at spelling, but the point is they are top tier knives in terms of their craftsmanship. It's second to none. Their handles are excellent. Octagonal European style handles. Typically, I believe they're ash handles and they're very, very, well done. The fit and finish is amongst the best, if not the best, in terms of the consistency of the bevel grinds and all of it. It's just an excellent made tool, ready to go out of the box. And that's the other thing about Stubai. If you don't buy them from someone, like in the past when I would get Stubai tools, before I sold them, I would often polish them up. My distributor would sharpen them as well. Um, it takes more effort and energy to get these to be really great, whereas the Swiss made comes out of the box nice and sharp. Again, I'll link those below in the description. But these are the top brands. These are the ones that uh, if you're a professional carver, you're gonna be using at least one of these brands most likely. Now, there are others I'm sure, and I'm sure they're great, but these are the ones that I like to use, of course. Other worthy mentions are Two Cherries. I don't have a lot of experience with these, but this is a company I believe is still in business making German high quality gouges, chisels, knives. This is a big honking one, which I love to use for clearing off material on bigger carvings. But anyway, that's that. I hope I didn't forget anything, but uh, that's the important stuff. Please like this video. And if you haven't already, check out my online school in the description below. If you're trying to learn or expand your skills in wood carving, specifically on carving realistic portraiture, faces, all that. So check that out. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.